Hey, man, are you really still mixing? <laughs> Nobody should be still mixing. <laughs> Hey man, every great song starts with a great vocal. Auto-Tune Unlimited delivers the complete set of tools you need to make every vocal performance a perfect performance. And me and Antares have teamed up to give away about $4,000 worth of free Auto-Tune Unlimited. You want to enter to win? All you got to do is click the link in the description to enter. What's up engineers, producers, and artists? Welcome back to the channel or welcome for the first time. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and if you don't know yet, you'll know by the end of this video that this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So I ain't gonna ask you to hit the subscribe button. You make that decision on your own if I give you a gem, you feel me? So still mixing man what the hell am i talking about are, are we still mixing well if you read the title if you read the description you probably already know what i'm talking about here and still mixing is basically mixing without automation why would you be mixing without automation like for real do you think that the pros are mixing and not using automation it's time for you to step your game up what is automation Automation is you recording changes to your mix and having them play back in real time. Now, we know that we can automate so much in Pro Tools, and we've talked a lot on this channel about automating volume, automating pan, but did you know that you can actually automate all of the controls within a plugin? Yes, it's pretty simple too, and it can really help to take your mixes to the next level. Let's jump off into my session. I'm gonna show y'all a few dope automation techniques and how we can automate plugins in our Pro Tools session, man. So first thing first, man, before y'all start to consider any automation, you always want to go up to your automation window and make sure that the type of automation that you want to record is actually enabled. So to do this, you can hit command numeric four, or if you haven't taken my Pro Tools certification course and you don't know all your Pro Tools shortcuts, you're not a Pro Tools certified user, which I'm actually signing up for people right now. If you don't know none of that, you could just take the granny way and go up to the window menu and choose automation to open up this same window. Now my window might look a little different than yours because I'm using Pro Tools Ultimate, but never mind that. All the stuff you need to know about is right here in this section, the right enable. So as I'm trying to right enable my plugins, I'm or right enable any parameter for automation, I need to make sure that that parameter is lit red here. If it's not lit red, when I try to record the automation, it won't be recorded for that parameter. As you see, I leave pretty much every one of my parameters enabled. This is gonna make it a whole lot easier for me to uh, record automation as long as I'm not using right mode, which I never do. I never advise that you, you guys use right mode. Always use either touch or latch when recording your automation. So um, now that my plugin automation is enabled, right? Let's open up a plugin. And for this, I'm just gonna take a look at, let's just say this H delay plugin. And again, every single parameter inside of this plugin, every button that you see on here can be automated, all right? Every single one. Even the bypass button up here can be automated. So this gives you a whole lot of flexibility when it comes to a plugin. So now this is a delay, but think about the, uh, the power that you have with this. Maybe if this was a compressor or a reverb where in certain sections of the song, you could shorten the reverb tail or lengthen the reverb tail. Or um, if you're working with a compressor, you could change the threshold uh, dynamically to match whatever the incoming signal is, right? So it gives you a lot of control and flexibility over your mix. And this is really pro level stuff once you start uh, getting into editing, I'm sorry, uh, automating your plugins. So how can we automate plugins? There's a couple different ways. First, we need to tell our program here, Pro Tools, which parameters inside of the plugin we want to automate. Now, we do this by simply, you can go up to the automation uh, little dialog box right there, the little button, and it'll open up the plugin automation window and show you every single parameter that can be enabled for this particular automation. So, hey man, if you love my YouTube channel, 
then you'll really love the Wavy Seals Elite. The Wavy Seals Elite is a membership group that offers you way more than you can get on YouTube. Not only do you get one-on-one -on -one communication with me at least once or twice a week through our live lessons, Q and A's, but we also have multi-track practice sessions, two-track practice sessions. I'll be bringing along other experts because I don't know everything. So every month we have monthly masterclasses where you get to learn from an expert in the field. We give each other feedback on mixes and help each other problem solve issues in the studio. As a member of the Wavy Seals Elite, you'll also get access to an amazing community of audio engineers and producers who are all learning and building with each other. There's two membership opportunities for the Wavy Seals Elite. You can choose monthly or annual membership. If you're ready to take your skills to the next level and really grow your career in audio production, the Wavy Seals Elite is what you're looking for. Uh, all the way from the bypass to the BPM, all of these different effects can be automated. You can click them to add and activate. But I like to do this in a cooler way, a little bit easier way for me, because I don't want to have to look at, at this list. And some plugins, they the list just gets uh, really long, and you don't want to have to go through that. So one thing, if you use the three modifier keys on your keyboard, if you're on a Mac, it's going to be Control, Option, and Command. If you're on a PC, it's going to be Control, the Windows key, and Alt. But if you hold those three modifier keys and click on a parameter, you can choose to enable automation for that parameter. So let's go ahead and enable it uh, for feedback here. And then I'm also going to enable my uh, delay time automation. So... I'm gonna enable automation for the delay uh, time as well. Now what this is gonna allow me to do is just experiment with some different uh, feedback settings and some different delay times. So let's just say at the end, let's go to this last little section here. Dollar, I ain't missing no amount, yeah. Dollar, I ain't missing no amount, yeah. And I'm gonna actually chop this yeah off real quick. No amount, yeah. Cause I don't want that to echo. I just want to have the amount repeat. So if I open up my send window that's going to that delay, if you don't know how to set up send returns for your time-based effects, please check out some previous videos I have on this channel all about setting up time-based effects and Pro Tools or whatever DAW that you might be using. So I have this set up. Let me just unmute it and hear what we sound like. I be getting every dollar. I ain't missing no amount. All right, so maybe that actually works for the main part of the vocal. Let's hear this together. All right, so for that last no amount, if I wanted that to repeat even longer and have more repeats, then I would need to increase the feedback. But if I had that feedback just up during the whole vocal performance, then it could get very muddy and, and muffled and start to you know clog up that mix, which I don't want. So what I'm gonna do is on my actual delay channel itself, right? The one that I'm gonna be setting, the one where my plugin is, this is where I need to go and change the automation mode. So you're gonna click right on the automation mode selector. And I love to use touch mode because in touch mode, automation is only being recorded while you're actually touching and changing the parameter. As long as you're not changing anything, nothing is being recorded. So now that that touch mode is enabled, the rest of my work is pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna start off with feedback and I'm just gonna turn that feedback up once we get toward the end of this phrase. I'll uh, give myself a little more pre-roll. <laughs> that's tight right that's a tight little ending for the song that you could incorporate let's just hear that back now that i've uh, recorded that in i can change my automation mode back to read and then we hit play and pro tools should play back that automation that we just recorded Look, mom, no hands. All 
<laughs> That's pretty tight. I actually kind of like that, man. Let's take this a step further because with this uh, H delay, which is a Waves plugin, and by the way, did you know that I'm a Waves affiliate? I have an affiliate link uh, right down in the description. If you like these Waves plugins that I like to use a lot on my mixes and my session templates, please shop with Waves, man. They got some dope plugins. I use the Horizon Bundle. Um, yeah, and if you use the affiliate link down in the description, you'll be helping out the channel and it won't cost you nothing extra. I think they got some pretty dope deals going on right now, too. <laughs> I just heard that from a little birdie, though. All right, so now, Let's play around and experiment with our um, delay time because right now we're set to a quarter note, but this plugin does some cool stuff when you actually change the delay time while the song is playing. Um, it's it kind of pitches it up or down, which can be used. Uh, we, let's just I'm gonna do it, and you're gonna hear the hell what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Counting out a check to my account. I'll be getting every dollar. I ain't missing no amount. Here we go. <laughs> All right, right. So you see how it kind of gives me this pitch shift effect uh, as we doing that. So uh, let's. We already enabled the delay time automation. So I'm gonna practice one more time and kind of see exactly where I want to take this. And, um, and 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 once I figure out how I want to do this, and then we're gonna record it. So let's practice again. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think I'm kind of cool with that. I kind of like that. So let's start back. We're going to start at the quarter note. And then again, same thing here. Just going to go straight to my delay track, the quarter note. This since this is the track where the plugin is. That's why we need to enable the automation on this track. We're not doing any automation on the actual vocal track. We're automating the plugin, okay? So I'm changing over to touch automation mode. I'm going to go ahead and play it from this section. And let's get groovy. And you know what? Let me enable a few more things. I'm going to enable this, and I'm going to enable that. <laughs> and let's see what we can do. I'm just going to start turning knobs. <laughs> Counting out a check to my account. I'll be getting every dollar. I ain't missing no amount. <laughs> Pretty tight, right? So then when we're done with that, we just turn this back to read and let's hear it. Man, you can start to create some really dope and unique sounds uh, using even a delay plugin just because you're automating it and creating something very, very special. Let's take this a step further. So once you enable automation for the parameters inside of a plugin, a new automation playlist will, uh, uh, will be available to you using the track view selector. So right now we're looking at the volume automation playlist here um, on this delay track. If I change over to my H delay, you see that every parameter that I've enabled automation for now has a automation playlist. So let's say if I go to my delay BPM, one thing that I could do here, how I kind of step this up, I could maybe uh, do this in grid mode and, and lock it in or maybe even use a line tool or square tool to really um, change up how this is, um, how this plays out. So let's maybe go to a quarter note setting. Let's just see what this sounds like if I edit in <laughs> uh, some changes like that. <laughs> All right, that was weird. That was weird. I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that that was weird. Let's try something different here. We'll, let's just step it up like this. Okay, let's hear that. Getting every dollar, I ain't missing no amount. 
<laughs> and of course, if you don't like any of that, man, you could just always make a selection over that automation data, hit the delete button, and get back to where you started from and try it all again. Creating movement in your session by using automation, especially automating plugins, is one tool that can really help to separate your mixes from being an amateur mix to a pro mix. What are some of your favorite plugins that you like to automate and what controls really give you the most out of that plugin and having it move around in the mix? I really want to know. Drop down in the comments and tell me and the rest of the world so we can all make the world sound a little bit better by helping each other. All right. Um, I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. I hope you found this helpful. I'll catch y'all later. Be dope.